geometric 12s this is a lesson on euclidean geometry grade 12 is the application of the theorem line parallel to one side of a triangle let's look at what we are asked we are given a diagram and then we are given an instruction in the diagram below d this d and f and f are points on sides a b and d c such that a d is to d b this is another way of writing a ratio is equals to 5 is to 3 and bf is to fc is equal to 4 is to 3 this is the ratio you can write it in this form or it can be written in that form okay and then we are asked to determine the ratio cg over gd let's see how we go about it the first that you start by writing these ratios or another thing that you need to remember is that the ratio is not um, the line the ratio 8d is five it doesn't mean line 8 is five is the ratio that it, it, when you compare 8d to db the ratio is five is to three not that that line is five okay let's see where's 8d 8d is five so we're gonna use alphabets to show that it's the ratio because we're gonna have in the same diagram different ratios so if you only have numbers they would look like it's their length and then d B is this line so we're gonna call it 3a then we have another one B F was B F B F is the entire line this up to the so B F is 4 B F we're gonna call it 4 B because it's a different ratio from that one we're gonna use a different alphabet and then FC, FC is here, is going to be 3B because it's the same ratio with that one. That's why we are using the same alphabet. You can use any alphabet that you choose, any variable. Okay, let's see. Then after that, what do we do? Now we're going to look at uh, the theorem that says a line parallel to one side of a triangle. So I'm going to look for a triangle where I have ratios. I have these both ratios and the, this triangle is this one is b a f what i'll suggest you to do is to take a pencil and color it out but because i don't have a pencil i'll do that i can't color it out here why do i suggest that you use a pencil after writing this you rub it out i don't like the method of using crayons because you can't rub them out and then end up being colorful so when you show this this is the time that i'm talking about b a f so i'm gonna use the ratios in this triangle okay i have this b d uh no it was a d a d over b d b d b I've written that here. Here's my AD. Here's my DB. Then with this triangle that I've colored, I'm, I'm, I'm coloring it so that I can see which sides are the ratios are the same. DB is equals to, in this side is EF or FE. FE over that one, that one over D, B, it means it will be over B, E. And why am I saying that? Oh, let us put values as well. It was 5 over 3. And then the reason is line parallel to one side of triangle. You need to write that. You can't write the ratios without writing the reason because of that line this line is parallel to that one then the ratios are true okay let's see what to do after that okay f e here's my f e the ratio is five i'm gonna use a different symbol i'm gonna use c and this one b e is three c okay now i have my ratios okay now uh, I, I need ratios for c g and g d Yes, C, G, C, G, and G, D. 
So do you see, you have this triangle here. Now, fortunately for us, this triangle also has parallel lines. You can only use the theorem line parallel to one side of a triangle if you have a triangle that has parallel lines. So this line is parallel to that one. So I can use that theorem. Okay. Now, C, G over G, D is equals to C, G goes with that. C, F over G, D goes with F, E. F, E. And my reason is line parallel to one side of triangle okay okay now you see the ratio here is the same as that one the problem is that these two ratios are not the same this is a c 5c this is a 5b it's not the same ratio so you must make them be the same either c or b but fortunately for us we have this line d f which is 3c plus 5c but it's also equals to 4b so we're gonna use that to to find a c in terms of b so we're gonna have 3 3c plus 5c is equals to 4b it's 8c is equals to 4b so it means 2c is equals to b where I have a b I can write 2c okay then I can change that my 3 b is equals to 3 times 2c which is equals to 6c so when I see a 3b like here I can write a 6c okay we are closer to our answer okay c g over g d is equals to do you see it's c f so where's my c f my c f is 6 c over f e where is my f e my f e f e is 5 c so it means my ratio is 6 is to 5 so this is how you get um, this this ratio it needs you to practice uh, the more you do them the better you'll get i hope you practice 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 this is the end of our lesson if you have not subscribed please do thank you for watching